These latest headlines from ABC 15 are sponsored by Lerner and Rowe Injury Attorneys. One call, that's all. Well, happy Friday to you. I'm Megan Thompson with your top stories right now from ABC 15 Arizona. And we start with the big story we'll be tracking all day long right here on ABC 15. Former President Donald Trump will be in the Valley today holding a rally tonight at Desert Diamond Arena in Glendale. People are already lining up. Our photojournalist at the arena around midnight where Trump supporters were camping out to be the first through those doors. As a reminder, doors don't open until 11 a.m. and Trump is expected to take the stage at 4. His visit coming one day after he toured the border in Cochise County, speaking alongside family of those killed by someone who entered the country illegally. And on the other side of the aisle, the fourth and final night of the Democratic National Convention has wrapped up. Vice President Kamala Harris taking the stage, accepting her party's nomination for president, giving the biggest speech of her political career to thousands of delegates and the entire nation. Arizona represented well, too, at the DNC. Congressman Ruben Gallego took the stage, as well as Senator Mark Kelly and his wife, former Congresswoman Gabrielle Giffords. Monsoon madness hitting the valley, leaving behind a mess. Ahwatukee hit especially hard with a massive tree completely uprooted, smashing into one person's home. We spoke with one next door neighbor who heard it come crashing down. Rain was just pouring down in sheets and then it started going sideways. Before that, there was small hell. Uh, so it was really uh, an unusual weather pattern. And I was starting to close my uh, windows and I noticed a loud bang and it was this particular tree hitting the corner of my neighbor's house. Well, crews got straight to work chopping up trees and trying to clean up all the mess from the storms, but the work will likely continue well into the weekend. The weekend has arrived, so let's get it started with something uh, spooktacular. Gathering of the Ghouls kicks off this Saturday and Sunday at the Mesa Convention Center. This is a two-day Halloween horror-inspired event with celebrity sightings, Q&A sessions, a cosplay contest, a haunted house, over 100 spooky vendors, and so much more. Tickets start at 17 bucks. What are you looking at? Gathering the Ghouls is Terror Trader's way of entering in the spooky season. We're ringing it in with a large 30,000 square foot two-day horror party. Cool off in the foam zone. When the heat is on, you can frolic under a blanket of bubbles at the Children's Museum of Phoenix. Check it out on Friday through Sunday from 9 a.m. until 3 p.m. This is included with $17 museum admission. We have a big weekend of music in the Valley, starting with Def Leppard, Journey, and Steve Miller Band performing at Chase Field on Friday night at 6 o'clock. Tickets start around 50 bucks. Lamb of God and Mastodon will also be rocking out on Friday night at the Arizona Financial Theater at 6 o'clock. Tickets start around 75 bucks. Ice Spice is taking her Y2K World Tour to the Marquee Theater in Tempe on Friday night at 8 o'clock. Ticket prices vary online. 311 is putting on its Unity Tour with AWOL Nation and Neon Trees on Saturday night at 7 o'clock at the Arizona Financial Theater. Tickets start around 50 bucks. And the Tony Award-winning new musical Girl from the North Country is hitting the stage all weekend long at ASU Gamage in Tempe. Check it out on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday with tickets starting at 7 bucks. For more information on ticket prices and other weekend events in the Valley, visit our website at abc15.com slash things to do. Reporting in Phoenix, Zach Perry, ABC 15 Arizona. Zach, thank you. It is the last day to donate to our If You Give a Child a Book campaign. We're raising money to get books to students in need right here in the Valley. All you have to do is go to abc15.com slash give a book to donate or text ABC 15 all one word to 50155. Time now for that most accurate forecast. I'm meteorologist Iris Hermosillo. After a stormy day yesterday, drier air is going to begin pushing in, and that's going to limit that storm potential primarily to eastern and southeastern Arizona. But there is a very slim chance of a stray storm here in the valley. That chance at just 10%. We'll be watching for that here as we go into the afternoon as we see some storms to our southeast. And again, potentially an isolated storm here in the valley, but the threat is fairly low. And that drier air will push in through the weekend, further limiting that storm 
storm threat and keeping it mainly confined to eastern Arizona. That high today, 108 degrees, not quite as hot as yesterday. Our temperature climbing pretty quickly, though, so still keep heat safety top of mind as you plan your day today. 70s for highs today in Flagstaff and upper 80s in Payson. Then temperatures drop further this weekend as we track an area of low pressure passing to our north. Closer to normal high temperatures through the weekend with overnight lows cooling into the 80s. For the latest headlines, weather and traffic, head to abc15.com or download the free ABC 15 mobile app. These latest headlines from ABC 15 are sponsored by Learner and Row Injury Attorneys. One call, that's all.